Hello, Joy here. Today I'm going to show you how to work this herringbone stitch pattern, which is in this scarf that I'm currently working on called My So-Called Scarf by Imagine It Design Team. It gives you this nice herringbone pattern on the right side, and on the wrong side, it looks like a regular pearl background. This is great for variegated yarns like this one. The one I'm using today is marinated yarns. This is their Cooper NSW BFL, which is a DK, and I'm using a size 10 and a half needle for this. The herringbone stitch is very dense. So if you want to have anything drapey, you have to knit it on a larger size needle. The herringbone pattern stitch starts with a knit one. You work it over an even number of stitches and then you get into your pattern. Slip one, knit one, yarn over, pass the slip stitch over both the knit stitch and the yarn over stitch. So now you have a pair formed. Again, you slip one, knit one, yarn over, pass the slip stitch over those two stitches. So now you have a pair formed. And they pair up like this across the, across the needle. You will see it as you go along. Slip one, knit one, yarn over, slip stitch over. Now also in the pattern, they have a tip to help kind of speed things along and make it a little more fluid. And what they do is they, it's exactly the same thing except slightly out of order. Normally you slip one, knit one, yarn over, and pass the slip stitch over. So to streamline this a little bit, what they do is you slip one, knit one, start to pass your slip stitch over and do the yarn over and pull together in one motion. It's slip one, knit one, start to pass your slip stitch over, yarn over and complete the, the slip stitch. Slip one, knit one, start your pass over, yarn over, pass. Slip one, knit one, start your pass, yarn over, complete your pass. Slip one, knit one, start your pass, yarn over, complete your pass. Slip one, knit one, start your pass, yarn over, complete your pass. And as you can see, it's coming up in pairs across the needle. And you work that way to the end of the row. Now here I am at the end of the row and I have one stitch left, which I'm just gonna knit. So it's a two stitch repeat. You have one knit stitch at the beginning, one knit stitch at the end, and then the rest of them are paired across the row. When you work the back side, you can see how the stitches are paired up. Now for the back side, you're gonna be purling two together and you're gonna be purling across each of these gaps. So these will be purled together, these will be purled together. So if you find yourself purling the two together, together that are together, you're off a stitch. You always wanna be purling across this gap. So we have our single knit stitch off the end and then we have our next pair. So we're gonna purl a single stitch with the first of the next pair. Purl two together. Do not drop your stitches from the needle and then you're gonna purl the first stitch again. And then drop. Now I have this stitch here plus the first one from the next pair. I'm gonna purl them together. Purl the first stitch again and then drop them off. So you can see you're always purling two together across this gap. And again, if you find yourself purling the, these two stitches together, then you know that you're off a stitch. 
Purl two together. Purl one. Drop. Purl two together. Purl the first one. Drop. And repeat that across the row. And here I am at the last two stitches on the purl side. Purl together, purl the first one again, and drop. And on this side, again, you can see how the stitches have paired up across the row. So each one has a pair. Then when you turn and start the knit side again, a similar thing is gonna be happening. You're going to be working your stitch pattern so it joins the two stitches across the gap. As these first two are paired, but you're only gonna knit the first one. And then you're gonna start your stitch pattern across this gap. If you find, again, like on the back side, if you're doing it with these two stitches, you know that you're off a stitch. Slip one, knit one. Start your pass, yarn over, finish your pass. Across the gap here, slip one, knit one. Start your pass, yarn over, finish your pass. Slip one, knit one. Start your pass, yarn over, finish your pass. And it gives you this lovely herringbone pattern. Have a great day.